Hello and welcome to this week's edition of What's in the Box. This week we're going to be taking apart a Behringer Crave. Now there's a really good reason for this and for once it's not crystal meth. Stick around and find out why. So, we're going to take apart this Behringer Crave. The first thing we need to do is pull off our knobs. Now our knobs should pull off easily. While we've got our knobs out, it's probably worth giving them a really good clean. With our knobs off, the next job is to remove our cheeks. Two screws on the side, each side. I'll whip these out quickly. So now we've got our two cheeks apart and our knobs out. We just flip it over and have a look for a little screw. Six on the back here. We'll pull those off quickly. If we flip it back over We should be able to get our tops off. We're going to come off from the bottom. You can see here we've got base posts to spot the bottom. And a handful of other screws. Let's get those out of the way. In fact, while we're here, we can see a collection of trim pots. We have a high trim here, VCF, high pass. Noise, VCA, Mix 1 and Mix 2, accessible. possible that these posts here are threaded so I'm going to go and grab a pair of pliers quickly I think I've removed every other screw so I've used some pliers to slacken these posts and these will screw straight off almost I'm going to pay great care here to pull these clear of the board of the chassis. And there we have the Crave. And the reason why I wanted to do this. Which was for these sockets here. Headphones and the VCA line. I wanted to look to see if there was space anywhere in here that I could add a full size jack socket and I think I could probably get away with one along the chassis here going out through the side there's not space for one along the back side which is a shame 
but certainly side entry would be possible just here. Coming out through here. Excellent. And that's my next mission. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Any questions at all, um, I'm going to take some photos of the inside of here just for future reference. Um, but please hit me up in the comments. Many thanks.